You only want to say something, and you want to be understood by the other person, but sometimes it is not that easy, that is why you have to learn the three basic elements of communication, how works the executor, the action, and the receiver, and that is what you are going to see here, you are going to have, 1. A grammar rule, to know how to say your things, 2. A text, to improve your pronunciation, 3. An exercise, to consolidate your knowledge, you will learn how to speak and listen to English and French, you will have free videos of English and French, and how to settle especially in Canada, that is why it's very important to click on the bell icon to receive the latest videos, do you want to get rid of your language concerns, here you improve your four skills, listening, reading, writing, and speaking to get a higher score on international tests, in order to improve your career abilities, and to immigrate to Canada, or to any other English or French speaking country, pay close attention to this video to find out how, in exchange, you help us by clicking on the bell icon, and on the subscribe button, and on the like button, to spread the name of Canada smart mind, now, here we go, 1, grammar rule, English tense system and some languages, verb tenses are not very important or do not even exist. In English, the concept of tense is very important on these pages we look at how to avoid confusing tense with time, and the structure of the 12 basic tenses, with examples using a regular verb, an irregular verb and the verb be tense and time do, not confuse the name of the tense with time it, is important not to confuse the name of a verb tense, with the way we use it to talk about time, for example, a present tense does not always refer to present time I hope it rains tomorrow rains is present simple, but it refers here to future time, tomorrow or past tense, does not always refer to past time if, I had some money now, I could buy it had is past simple, but it refers here to present time. Time. Now basic tenses 12 tenses in active voice plus 12 in passive equals 24 for past and present. There are two non-complex tenses plus six complex tenses. Using auxiliary or helping verbs to these, we can add four modal tenses for the future. Using the modal auxiliary verbs will shall this makes a total of 12 tenses in the active voice. Another 12 tenses are available in the passive voice basic tenses. With regular verbs the usual structure of basic tenses with regular verbs is plus positive subject plus auxiliary plus main verb negative subject plus auxiliary plus not plus main verb question and auxiliary plus subject plus main verb and here are the forms of the main verb that we use to construct the tenses base v1, past simple v2, past participle v3 present participle ing work worked worked working basic tenses with irregular verbs the usual structure of basic tenses with irregular verbs is essentially the same as for regular verbs plus positive subject plus auxiliary plus main verb negative subject plus auxiliary plus not plus main verb question auxiliary plus subject plus main verb here are the forms of the main verb that we Used to construct the tenses base v1 past simple v2, past participle v3 present participle ing sing sang sung singing basic tenses with be the verb be is always different. The usual structure of basic tenses with the irregular verb be is plus positive subject plus auxiliary plus main verb be negative subject plus auxiliary plus not plus main verb be question auxiliary plus subject plus main verb be but for simple past and simple present tenses, the structures are not the same. In fact, they are even easier. There is no auxiliary verb. Here are the structures plus positive subject plus main verb be negative subject plus main verb be plus not question main verb be plus subject and here are the forms of the main verb be that we use to construct the tenses base past simple past participle present participle in present simple be was verb in being am are is. Now, here is the grammar rule that you can use while you are talking. Remember, you got to have the grammar rules, the pronunciation and the vocabulary to sustain your conversation. I wish I could say some nice words and cool you down, but here is the thing, you have to go deep into your practice to develop your skills. We post here the basics of grammar, pronunciation, and vocabulary. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon in order to receive the other videos and increase your ability to speak. Also, contact us to see how easy and cheap is to enroll in our teaching program where you can have videos, exercises, and books to support your work and to increase your performance and share this video with your friends and help them out too. Text. American states that ban face coverings in schools may be discriminating against students with disabilities, U.S. Department of Education officials say. The Department of Education Office for Civil Rights has opened investigations into five states that ban face coverings or masks. The states are Iowa, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Utah. Suzanne Goldberg, 
is the department's assistant secretary for civil rights. She informed the states of the investigation, saying that they could be in violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA. The 1990 law bans discrimination against people with disabilities and requires that children with disabilities receive a fair education. Goldberg said in a letter that the investigation will focus on whether students with disabilities who are at heightened risk for severe illness from COVID-19 are prevented from safely returning to in-person education in violation of federal law. The administration of President Joe Biden has said it would fight back against efforts by Republican state lawmakers to prevent mask mandates in schools. Those against the requirements say it is a matter of personal freedom. They argue that it should be up to parents and individuals to decide. In the state of Tennessee, Republican Governor Bill Lee signed an executive order on August 16th, letting parents opt out of any requirement that children wear masks in school. Two legal actions have since been filed against the order, including one saying that it violates the ADA. Four other states, Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, and Texas, have also passed laws or signed executive orders banning mask mandates in schools. But the states are not currently under investigation because court orders have blocked the bans. In Florida, a court ruled on August 27th that school systems may go against the governor's order and require students to wear masks. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has said that wearing masks should be up to parents and not the government. He has also suggested that wearing masks hurts kids' ability to learn and communicate. The Florida Department of Education said they would appeal the court's ruling. Sarah Lee is a mother of two 10-year-old children attending school in Florida's Leon County. She said her children do not mind wearing masks at all. In fact, I pick them up, and I'm like, you can take your mask off now, Lee said. Dr. Rochelle Walensky is director of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. At a briefing on COVID-19 on July 27th, she told reporters children should return to full-time in-person learning in the fall with proper prevention strategy in place. Walensky recommended that all students, teachers, workers, and visitors wear a mask in schools. The recommendation is in effect for both unvaccinated and vaccinated people. A recent CDC study says since the health agency updated its guidelines on mask wearing, parents have gotten more worried about schools opening up in person. Before July 27, 58% of parents asked said they wanted their children attending school in person full time. But after the new guidance, that number fell to 43.
statement that it is simply unacceptable that state leaders are putting politics over the health and education of the students they took an oath to serve. I'm Dan Novak. Remember to go to the description and check the links for Canadian companies searching for employees outside of Canada. Also, you will have a link for our contact in the description. Since you only can count on yourself, make your inscription and hit the like and the bell icons to receive our latest videos. 3. Exercise. Wiz US opens investigation into school mask bans 1. Why are five states under investigation by the Department of Education the states are following the Americans with Disabilities Act the bans may discriminate against children with disabilities masks, may hurt kids' ability to learn and communicate COVID cases among children have increased too. What does Suzanne Goldberg say about why masking bans could be in violation of federal law the bans might prevent students with disabilities from returning to school. Safely federal law requires masks in schools the bans put unvaccinated vaccinated children at risk students with disabilities are at a higher risk of falling behind in school 3. Why are four states with masking bans not under investigation parents are less worried about schools opening in person parents are deciding whether children should wear masks court orders have blocked the bans for children over 12 are able to get the vaccine school districts may go against the governor's order the governor says that masks hurt children's ability to learn the state department of education is appealing a court order blocking the ban all of the above are true answers the bans may discriminate against children with disabilities the bans might prevent students with disabilities from returning to school safely court orders have blocked the bans all of the above are true tell us your questions and pretty soon you will see what we have to say leave your comments about this video and we will know what you like and what we can do to better help you thank you for watching this video and be sure that we will be with you in this journey to turn your dreams into reality keep up there and write your story i'll see you at the next one bye for now